Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be counting down the top 5 things that I would like to see in the next trial card, which as we all know by now, it is Black Ops 3. So I would just say basically the top 5 things that I want to happen in Black Ops 3. Now, unlike my usual top 5s, this is not going to be in any particular order. It's basically just going to be 5 things that I would like to see. In no particular order, I just want these five things to happen. None of these things that I say is more important than the other one, and vice versa. So, let's go and get started with the number five. Coming out at number five, we got something that I want to see happen is ability to make custom maps on Black Ops 3. Now, if you guys don't know, I am a map maker for War at War, um, custom zombies. And my channel is based on what I want custom zombies. And as you can see by so many maps that I play and that other people make, you can do, you can add a lot of stuff from the different Call of Duties into what I want, no problem. And different scripts and stuff, you can get like the Panzer Sword and stuff like that. The only problem that I have with what I want is the stupid limits that they have. What I want has such small limits, so you all. Not able to do everything that you want to do. If they came out with custom maps on Black Ops 3, you could do all of this amazing stuff and not have to worry about scripting it or porting the different weapons. They will automatically be in the game, they'll be 100% working and stuff like that. And you could also add new stuff and you can make bigger and better maps and not have to worry about these stupid, like, FX limits and weapons limits and stuff like that that you have to worry about in War at War. Now, it would be cool if they could make it on console, but I kind of like it being only a PC thing. So, I'm going to say that only PC users should have the ability to make maps on Black Ops 3. But, I mean, I guess console wouldn't hurt anyway. I mean, I don't play console anyway, so it wouldn't really matter to me too much. But just as long as PC will have the ability to make custom maps. Now coming in at number 4, we got upgradable perks. Now I don't mean just like you buying a perk and then paying like 5000 to upgrade the perk. No, I want you to be able to complete challenges to upgrade the perks. Like, and the challenge has to be with that specific perk. Like let's say Deadshot. Deadshot, you buy Deadshot and you have to get like... I don't know, maybe a hundred headshots with the Deadshot perk and you'll be able to upgrade it and I don't know what it could do. Um, maybe give you more hip fire accuracy or stuff like that and maybe with Quick Revive you could revive so many players after buying Quick Revive. It'll give you like Quick Revive 2.0 to where you could re revive them instantly and stuff like that. I don't know how they would do it on solo play but... Just stuff like that would be, would be pretty awesome to see. And I'm surprised we haven't seen it yet. Because so many people have been asking for the ability to upgrade your perks. So it would be amazing if they could make it in the next trial card. Make it so you could upgrade your perks. I think that would be really cool and I would love to see that happen. Now, I also would like to see Horde Maps. Some of these maps have been way too easy like Buried. Let's take Buried for example. That's probably one of the easiest maps I've ever seen. You don't even have to kill the zombies with a weapon. You could just get the traps, um, camp over there by Jug, and the zombies will come to you in one straight line and they'll automatically die with the traps and you don't have to do anything. Just sit back, watch, and if the trap breaks, just use the paralyzer, fly up, and get a new trap and then bring it back down and... Place it back down. And that's all that you gotta do. You don't even have to kill the zombies using a weapon. That should never be in zombies. I mean, I'm fine with camping maps. I'm I'm a huge or I'm not a huge fan of maps that you can camp on. I prefer training. But horde maps I would like to see happen. Give you the option to camp as well as train, but still make it difficult to do that. Like Let's take the new Burger Town map, for example. Or Infection, I forget the name. I don't even care at this point. But let's take that map, for example. There is a 
thing in there will the gas will uh, cut off an area so you cannot go in that area for a round or two. I don't really know how long it's infected with gas, but you're not allowed to go in that area for a couple rounds. That would be awesome to see in Treyarch Zombies. Because let's say your favorite camp spot, like, let's take Buried for example, again. You, let's say your favorite training spot, or your favorite camp spot, no, yeah, let's say your favorite camp spot is over there by Jug. Let's say that area can become infected with gas at, at random times, and you have to get out of that area or you automatically die. That would be really cool to see happen. Because then you'll be like, okay, crap, the gas is here, so where am I going to go now? I need to go somewhere else for a couple rounds until this leaves. That would be really awesome to see in Zombies. That's one thing that I love from the new ExoZombies map. Is the fact that a gas can cut off an area and you have to go train in a different area while that gas is there. And then a couple rounds there you can go back and train and then... It keeps on getting affected and then you have to keep on leaving. That would be really cool to see. Or just like different environmental effects and stuff that could go wrong. That would cause you not to be able to train in a certain area that you're used to training in. Just different stuff like that that will Im impact your gameplay. And so you're not training or camping in the same spot for hours on end. That's what I'd like to see, or, I don't know, maybe you guys can think of some more ideas and let me know down in the comment section below what ideas you would like to see implemented that you think would make the, like, the gameplay different and make it more difficult. So, going into number two, we got something that I really want to see happen is I want them to go back to the Black Ops 1 days. I mean, Black Ops 2 was cool, don't get me wrong, but Black Ops 1 was my favorite Treyarch Zombies. Just because it was so basic, but so fun at the same time. I mean, Black Ops 1 had some of my favorite maps in it. Kino, uh, it, Kino was alright. I mean, not one of my favorite maps. It was just like a what I want map, pretty much. It was just like, a uh, easier to reach, I guess you would call it. Five, I did not really like that map, but five was a pretty cool map. Ascension, I loved it. Call of the Dead, I loved it. Shangri-La, I hate that map. And Moon, I love that map. But Black Ops 2, Transit, I hate. Die Rise, I don't really like. Mob of the Dead, I love. Buried, I don't like. And Origins, I love. Really, the only two good maps was Mob of the Dead and Origins. So I would like them to go back to the Black Ops 1 days. Get rid of the buildables. Get rid of all the other stuff crap that made Black Ops 2 my most hated Treyarch Zombies experience. Don't get me wrong, I still play that game so much. I still love the game, but not as much as I loved Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1 was just like simple, and Black Ops 2 you had to like save a zombie at the end of round 1 and go do stuff and finally go to round 2 30 minutes later. That's not fun for me. I do not like having to save a zombie to go build stuff and take out money and get a weapon from the fridge and stuff like that. And save a zombie at the end of round one and save him till like 30 minutes later and then finally go into round two. I like Black Ops 1 because you are constantly going through the rounds, constantly building up points and stuff like that. So I want them to go back to the Black Ops 1 days. Maybe keep the buildables. Possibly. I mean, the buildables were awesome. I didn't use them that much. Really, the only good buildable I used was the Zombie Shield. But, yeah. Like I said, just get rid of all the stuff that made Black Ops 2 crap. And go back to the simple, yet fun Black Ops 1 days. Now, finally, the last point I will talk about that I would love to see happen in the next trail card. Is I want them to be more solo Easter eggs. Now, let's look at my two favorite... Maps from Treyarch Zombies. Call of the Dead and Moon. Call of the Dead, you had a solo Easter egg where once you completed it, you get a death machine. If you do it on co op, however, you will get a death machine as well as, I believe, all the perks, if I'm not mistaken, I think you do. And Moon, you can complete half the Easter egg on solo, once again, get a 9 second death machine. And then on co op, you can complete it and get all the perks. That's what I would like to see happen. Have it to where you can complete 
the Easter egg on Solo to get an achievement and get a reward. But the reward is even greater if you happen to complete it on co-op. Of course on Solo you shouldn't be able to get all the perks. But maybe like all the perks forever. But maybe on co-op you could get all the perks forever. And on Solo you could get a different reward. Like something more than just a nice like a death machine. And an achievement. Get like an achievement and... I don't know, maybe something else that will help you, that will make it feel worth it to complete it on solo. But the reward will be a lot greater on co-op. I really loved how they did on, co on Call of the Dead though. How Call of the Dead, you had one step that if you were playing solo would be totally different than if you were playing co-op. I forget what step it is because I haven't done that Easter egg in so long. But there was one step that you could complete on solo, that you could also complete on co-op. But on co-op, the step that you had to complete was way different. And on co-op, the Easter egg had a lot more steps as well. That's what I like to see. I mean, on Moon, all these steps were the same on solo and co-op. But on co-op, you or on solo, you could only complete half of it. And you needed four players to complete the rest of the steps. But I loved it on Call of the Dead because you could complete... Both the Easter egg on solo and co-op, but on co-op, you had one different step, one different step than you did on solo, and you had a lot more steps to do at the end as well. So that's what I would really like to see happen. More solo Easter eggs, because as you guys know, I'm a solo player. I would love to see more solo Easter eggs and have the reward be something worthwhile, something that you would really use for the rest of the game. And on co-op, of course, get all the perks and an even better reward if you have it to complete on co-op. So those are my five things that I would like to see implemented in the next trial card. So number five was ability to make maps on Black Ops 3. Number four was upgradable perks. Number three was harder maps. Number two was going back to the Black Ops 1 days. And number one was the solo Easter eggs. So let me know what you guys thought of this top five and let me know what things you would like to see in Black Ops 3 implemented into Black Ops 3. But anyway guys, I'm out of here. Peace out.